Our community of practice uh, started a year ago and it, it's encompassing Carlton Public School, Hurstville South, Mortdale and Hurstville and that's how it started off a year ago and we've recently uh, started working as well with Connells Point Public School. I think what's driving it, what's sitting behind the driving question is that, that question of transformation around uh, contemporary learning and I think for all of us we had a priority that sat really deeply around that question of relevance in terms of what, what students were needing to learn in order to remain relevant within society but also that their education was relevant to the experiences that they'd be able to have in their life, not just to be considered um, academically strong within what they did but also to be a well-rounded individual, someone who could actually actively engage in society. So the journey so far has been really interesting. We've been working with a group called Transforming Schools, with 4C Interactive Learning, and basically uh, all of our staff members at different times are at different points in the journey, and it really is focused on not just elements of the 4Cs, but it's looking more deeply at the way that we're working really collaboratively across our four and five, now five schools. And I think uh, on reflection, probably what is, has been the most powerful part of it is that we've realised that the four C's aren't really things that you teach to people. They're actually parts of the way you live day in, day out and, and around the opportunities that you create for every person in your school community. And then enabling that voice and then what we're doing with it around creativity and then of course critical reflection. Um, for where we are at the moment, our schools have really started pulling together uh, and our five leadership teams are now working together on a deeper understanding of, of pedagogy and what that's looking like in terms of the ten common pedagogies within classrooms and how they're used to different degrees and where, what's that then giving us in terms of a language system for teachers to be able to effectively articulate what the pedagogies are they're using and to be able to confidently have discussions professionally with one another about uh, what that looks like and, and how they can then grow as professionals. And of course for students, what we're trying to capture is not just the concept of relevance in terms of their education, but by being a community of practice and really collaborating at, in a lot of different ways, driving that, that also that concept of rigour. So that we know beyond our own, our own school that we're outward facing enough to really test out and challenge all the assumptions that we hold and we do that together and I think that's that's where the power for this community of practice is really coming through. The fact that we're really we're seeing so many unintended outcomes from our original original launch around contemporary learning that it is starting to really now build and, and platform out in ways that you know we possibly hadn't anticipated but it's now leading us to other areas of discovery that are that are really powerful too. And again coming back to that whole concept of what's relevant for students. So this afternoon we are going to be incorporating the four C's into our teaching and learning through our literacy unit. Uh, what we thought we would do is incorporate the collaboration, the communication, the creativity and of course the critical reflection in a tableau. So the children have been asked this afternoon to work in groups, um, identify you know, their position in the teams and work out how best to snapshot a scene from the book in a tableau and the children have been really excited to do so. We can see that they're able to express themselves in a really creative and, and critical way. And the, the benefits for us and for the children is that we haven't given them much direction no, in this haven't. space. So they're able to be creative, they're able to form the groups um, based on friendship and ability as well. 
children, but some of them are with children that they like to be, some with children that would help them out, and they have to collaborate to um, negotiate roles and what part of the book they're going to do. So it gives those children a lot of um, confidence that maybe wouldn't like to do that in a bigger group, and it gives those children who are very good at talking and working through in groups in situations that might be a bit more difficult um, the ability to help those that aren't. So there's lots and lots of positives from what we're doing in the tableau. Students are investigating the inquiry question of how does the physical environment affect living things and part of that was needing to do some background research on what makes a living thing. As part of that we have previously to this looked at brainstorming and working together as a class and discussing and coming to the conclusion of the seven characteristics of living things. The bus stop component of it was to encourage students to um, share their ideas and opinions with the class and part of that is also helping them to develop those social skills that they need as they progress up in the senior years of schooling. The second part of the bus stop activity today was to just give any other students an opportunity to speak um, that may not have had that chance previously and it's also a great way of promoting their listening skills as well because one of the expectations that's set that our repetition is not something that we encourage so it makes sure that they're actively listening to the other students that are participating and either expanding, elaborating on their ideas love learning using the learning disposition rule. This rule highlights the attributes needed as a learner, not only at the school, but as a learner of life every day. We love collaborating with our classmates to solve challenging problems and work on project-based learning tasks. As a part of our literacy, learning and study of the novel Riddle of the Trumpeler, we are using a strategy called Conscious Alley to get inside the mind and thoughts of the characters we are reading about. We think critically about a dilemma the character might be facing and through role play. We are able to think aloud what might be going on inside the character's head or their conscious as they struggle to make the right decision. Learning through our bodies enable us to think more deeply and allow us to develop empathy for the characters and the situations they face. This is called embodied learning. This means we are not just thinking about the character's feelings, we are walking in their shoes. So why the four C's? Well, number one, we work with schools with the four C's because it deepens learning. And what does that mean, deepening learning? It means you can take skills and transfer it across to all sorts of things, to, across subjects and outside school to other things that you do in life. The four C's, creativity, critical reflection, collaboration and communication, deepen the learning. And that's what teachers know, so that's number one. Why else? Well, we live in a changing world and so to meet those challenges, we have to meet them in a creative sense, in a collaborative sense. We have to reflect on those changes and we have to be able to communicate to navigate all the complexity and chaos actually that's constantly changing in the world. Always has, but it's just going a lot faster now. But also we do the four C's in schools because you need those four things to transform schools, to make them more relevant to this changing world, to make them places that are relevant, but also joyful, that help create empowered learners. And I suppose that's the most important thing about these four C's. How does creativity, collaboration, critical reflection and communication not only deepen learning, but how does it actually give people greater agency and empowerment in the world to be 
operators in the world, change makers, to be able to cope with the complexity that's out there, not just for our students, but for our teachers and our leaders, and ultimately for our community.